For question 1 of my evaluation, I used Word It Out to create three separate word clouds. They showed the typical conventions of film posters, film magazines and film trailers. This visually allowed me to see the conventions of all three different media products, so that when I was referring to whether mine had used challenge or developed conventions, I could refer back to these to see if I'd used any of the conventions. I then used ThingLink to create interactive annotations when analysing my film poster and film magazine. ThingLink is good as it allows you to create these annotations where more detailed boxes pop up, showing a more detailed explanation of each convention of my media products. I also used Google Images to find real-life media products that I could insert to each annotation, which allowed me to compare the conventions to real media products. I then used DMAZE to create a presentation about the conventions of my film trailer. This is a nice alternative to Prezi and graphically allowed me to analyse my conventions and insert screenshots from my trailer relating back to each convention. For question 2 I used PowerPoint to portray the brand identity across my three media products. I am familiar with PowerPoint and it is simple to use. I used SlideShare to upload it to my blog. For question 3 I used Padlet to gain audience feedback about my poster and magazine at draft and final stages. This allowed people to be interactive and comment on my poster and magazine, thus allowing me to gain audience feedback. I then created a Picto chart to present my other audience feedback. This was effective as it allowed me to present a lot of different audience feedback in a linear and neat form. I held two different focus groups for my target audience to comment on my trailer at draft and final stages. They watch my trailer on my laptop and I film their responses using my Canon 700D. I then edited the videos using iMovie. I then exported the videos to YouTube. Filming and editing their responses into two videos was useful as it allowed me to document their feedback. This allowed me to refer back to it when I wanted to know any improvements they suggested. For this question, which is question 4, I have used iMovie to edit four different videos showing how I have used the technologies in research, planning, construction and evaluation. Specifically, I used Cam Studio in the construction video to show how I have constructed my poster and magazine and how each element is added one by one and showing the stages of how each media product was created.